In the bystander effect, I talked about how we look to others for social cues about how to behave in new situations, and how as change agents, we can take advantage of the effect. But what can we do when the social cues are hidden? Our elephants are constantly looking for cues from the herd to find out how to behave. Seeding tip jars and adding laugh tracks to television shows send signals about the norm of the herd. But sometimes social cues are hidden. For example, hotels would like their patrons to reuse their towels. But patrons can't look inside each other's bathrooms to see whether other members of the herd are reusing their towels or not. Often what the hotels do is place a tent card on top of the towels with a pro-environmental message in the hopes that this will inspire the patron to conserve. A group of social psychologists persuaded a hotel manager to test out a new sign in the hotel bathrooms. Instead of appealing to the guests' desire to preserve the environment or conserve water, it simply said that the majority of guests at the hotel reuse their towels at least once during their stay. And it worked. Guests were 26% more likely to reuse their towels if they got that sign. Note that this wouldn't work if the sign had said that only a minority of guests reuse their towels. In situations where the herd has embraced the right behavior, publicize it. But what do you do when the herd hasn't yet embraced the right behavior? The Heath brothers give an example in Gerard Cachon, a Wharton School operations professor who in 2006 became editor of the journal Manufacturing and Service Operations Management, MSOM. MSOM was suffering from long lead times in getting articles published, and the key bottleneck was the peer review stage. Cachon was charged with making things move faster, but he had no power over any of the reviewers, a volunteer labor force who perform a difficult task for free. So Cachon used several of the techniques from the switch framework. He directed the rider by pointing to a destination. He announced that MSOM would review papers within 65 days, 72% faster than the previous average. Second, he appealed to identity. A journal for operations researchers should be leading the way on efficiency and turnaround time. Third, he defined a clear behavior. Every reviewer had to submit feedback within five weeks and commit upfront to the deadline. Last, Cachon rallied the herd by posting a spreadsheet on the internet that showed the status of every submitted paper. Every reviewer could see what their fellow reviewers had done, and it highlighted who was violating their five-week commitment. Cachon was using the hotel towels strategy, publicizing the group norm. Everyone naturally didn't want to be the one reviewer bottlenecking the whole process. Cachon made good behavior contagious. So what is the hotel towel strategy for software teams? That is, how do you encourage the spread of good habits and norms on a team where they exist but are not well publicized or evenly distributed? There are probably many such strategies, but I would suggest pair programming as a particularly strong one. Not only is such a habit in itself healthy for teams, for the usual reasons of better quality, better onboarding of new team members, better intra-team knowledge sharing, but serves as a transmission mechanism of team norms. Pair programming with someone is a great opportunity to pass along good habits. Say you're trying to get the team to practice more test-driven development. You have pockets of TDD happening, but it hasn't taken root everywhere yet. Every time you pair, this is an opportunity to demonstrate the benefits of TDD. Encourage those with the best TDD skills to pair with those who don't practice it. As pairs rotate, those that don't usually practice TDD will encounter more and more people who do. This exposure to the group norm may then start to have the effect of the hotel towel tent cards. Now you have learned to create contagious behavior at the individual and the group level. In the next episode, we'll learn about contagious behavior at the societal level.
If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can subscribe for free. On LinkedIn, click the follow button next to my name. On IGTV, you can just click the person icon with the plus next to it.